Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the grasslands and the polar habitat. Have you ever heard of the grasslands in Africa where lion and zebra live? Not only lion and zebra, the world's fastest runner, cheetah also lives there. These grasslands are dominated by grasses and have very less trees. The weather here is very extreme and the rainfall is very little. So how can animals survive in such harsh condition? Let us see. As it is full of grass and very few trees, there are very few places in the grasslands to hide. So the animals depend on their speed to protect themselves or for hunting too they require speed. So most of the grassland animals are fast runners like the cheetah, lion, zebra, gazelle etc. And most of the animals live in groups for the safety like the zebra, elephants, gazelles, lion, hyena etc. In the herbivores, the sense organs are well developed to warn them of any danger around. They have pointed ears or good sense of smell which make them easily aware of the nearby predator. You know, the grasses found in these grasslands are brown most of the time. So, many animals use the camouflage to hide in the grass. Like, the brown deer can easily hide in the brown grass. So can its predator lion or the tiger while attacking it. The water is scarce here. So animals here can live on very little water. Like the rhinoceros drinks only in night and it can spend a day without drinking water easily. Many animals here can live many days without water like the gazelle. And what about the plants? The grassland plants also live with little water like the grass, baobab, acacia etc. The trees usually have small leaves to reduce the water loss in the transpiration process. And you know the acacia tree has long roots. Its long roots can access water that is very deep in the ground. Also. The baobab tree can store water in its huge trunk. And last but not the least, in the grasslands, the plants usually have flexible stems which can bend easily instead of breaking when the wind is strong. So that is how the plants adapt to the grassland habitat. Here we see the savanna grasslands in Africa. Like the grasslands, the polar region and the mountain region also have extreme climate. That too, extremely cold climate. So let us see how the animals and the plants adapt to this extreme climate. In the polar region, the polar bear, penguin, seal, walrus etc. live. And in the mountains, we can see the mountain goat, sheep, rabbit, yak, etc. You know, the animals living in such cold region have very thick fur like the sheep, yak, mountain goat and also the polar bear. Some animals have other protection from cold like thick skin with layers of fats underneath. For example, in the case of penguin, walrus etc. And many animals huddle close together to keep themselves warm. Also to keep warm few animals grow new and thicker fur before the winter like in the case of polar bear. While few other animals hibernate that is they go for deep sleep during the winters while some other animals migrate to warmer places. For example, 
Arctic tern is a small bird that flies from the Arctic to the Antarctic and back again each year. And what about the plants? How do they adapt to the very cold climates? The tree that grows in the mountain region have needle-like leaves and cone shape with sloping branches. That is, they have conical shape. This is so that the snow doesn't settle on it. For example, the conifer, pine, etc. The water is also scarce in the snowy winter and the needle-like leaves prevent the water loss. So now you know how the animals and the plants adapt to the extreme environments such as the polar region and the grasslands too. So that was all about the habitat and the adaptation. Bye-bye children.